Yeah, I, I think Brian Dayball recognizes what fits best with the, with the personnel or most of the personnel he has, and especially when it comes to the O-line. And when it comes to quarterback coaching, and this will be interesting too because uh, this team has David Culley as its quarterback's coach, never been a, quarterback, a quarterback's coach in the NFL until he joined uh, the Bills. He was a career-wide receiver coach in this league for a long, long time. And it will be interesting to see – how that all sort of plays out as well, because the mechanics, the, de- the as far as developing a quarterback, and I think it's fair to assume this team's going to draft one. I don't know where, but they're going to draft one. They'll probably bring in another one somewhere along the line, but that rookie has to be developed. Brian Dayball is not really a developer of the mechanical part of quarterbacks. He is a guy who understands what the guy does best, I think, and also understands the weaknesses that can be exploited in the opponent. But you know what? Here's an important point I think that needs to be made, unlike Rob Ryan and Rex, and that is you have to coach to your personnel. You can't come in with your system and then say, all right, here's how we're going to do things and hope that you have the right personnel. Yep. You have to look at your personnel first and then adjust to that. Hey, it's really you know, a lot easier to be coaching in a system that has Tom Brady or Brett Favre when he was with the Jets. It was a different story when he was with the other three teams. So what do you have here? Well, you have a lot of question marks is what you have, and they have to answer some of those questions, including receiver, before you determine which way you're going to go with this offense.